In this chapter, I will try to briefly review how to obtain your images and save them if you choose to use them for documentation of your findings or quality assurance review. One of the inherent challenges of this talk is that each ultrasound machine will be different in terms of how to perform image acquisition and utilize a dual screen approach to document the ultrasonographic detection of a DVT. In this image, I am demonstrating the GE logic, where you have buttons on the bottom right side of the keypad to access the ability to split your screen in half and update either the left or right side of the screen individually. Again, as each machine is different, it will be important to familiarize yourself with your facility's ultrasound machine and its knobology. Once you have split the image on your screen, you should be able to freeze it. Then, select the option to update the contralateral side of the screen. This will allow you to capture a vessel with and without compression, showing the variation on a single saved image file. Opposed to the prior image showing the normal variation in vessel patency with compression, this image demonstrates side by side the absence of compression on a single image. Point of care ultrasonography for deep venous thrombosis is a relatively easy skill to perform. With practice, it can be done in a short period of time to make a bedside decision regarding a DVT in a patient. Here, I will demonstrate how quickly a full, focused exam can be performed. In this clip, I am performing from start to finish a focused point of care DVT exam. Note that I start in the patient's inguinal canal, identifying the femoral vessels and performing compression testing. I am even able to save images for documentation and review if needed. I then progress distally down the leg, performing compression testing as I follow the deep venous system through the greater saphenous and superficial femoral veins. At any point, I can save still images or clips, as well as evaluate for respiratory variation and augmentation. I then proceed to move the probe posteriorly to evaluate the popliteal vessel using compression, respiratory variation, and augmentation. For documentation, you will need to save several images to show your findings, including sites at the common femoral, superficial femoral, and popliteal veins. Thank you for your interest in point-of-care ultrasonography. Remember, this is a fun, quick, easy skill that can help modify your patient care. Your efficiency and comfort will continue to grow the more you practice these skills. Again, my name is Christopher Schott. Thank you for watching.